here today in the December Daily Vlog. I have a different book in order to celebrate Christmas. I know there's so so many, but I found another Hello Kitty book at the library and I thought that with Christmas being around the corner, let's read it because it makes a perfect book. So this is your bed start bedtime story. So this is Hello Kitty. The Nutcracker, a Hello Kitty fairy tale, and it says, Enjoy the classic story of the Nutcracker performed by Hello Kitty and her friends. Join them on a thrilling adventure to the land of Sweet Home and the Sugar Plum Fairy, fairy and a whole lot of other exciting characters. I am so sorry it's bright in here, but I thought it will make a nice change. So, are we gonna? So, we have the cast. We have Hello Kitty. Dear Daniel is the Nutcracker. Thomas is the Toy Maker. Uncle Toymaker, Tippy is Cousin Henry, Minnie is Sugar Plum Fairy, Fifi is a party guest, Tammy is another naughty mouse, and Timmy is a naughty mouse. So, I will try my hardest to show the pictures. So rude. So, Hello Kitty and her friends are very excited. They are putting on a special play for their families. Dusk is falling outside and the air is chilly. Here in the school hall, it's warm and cosy as the audience take their seats for the Nutcracker. Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Clara. Her family lived in a big house in an old city, and tonight they were having a party to celebrate Christmas Eve. Clara was decorating the tree. Carefully, she hung the shiny baubles the brightly wrapped sweets and candy canes and the little painted wooden figures. At the top, she placed a beautiful new fairy with a sparkling tiara and skirts the colour of sugar plum. Ding dong! The guests started to arrive and the party began. Clara looked out with excitement for her favourite uncle who always bought her beautiful gifts. Tonight he had made her a wonderful painted wooden nutcracker with arms and legs that moved. Thank you uncle, smiled the little girl and she ran off to play with it. But Atlas, during the evening, Clara's cousin, Henry, stepped on the nutcracker by accident, breaking its legs. Sorry, Clara, said cousin Henry. Don't worry, said uncle kindly as Clara wept. I can mend it for you. He carefully put back the toy together and then whispered a few words in his ear. There, smiled uncle. Now he's fixed. After everyone left, had left and the house was sleeping, two naughty mice came out to play. They saw the nutcracker lying on the floor. Let's hide it, tee hee, they giggled. 
Upstairs, Clara awoke, suddenly to hear the clock chime in midnight. She remembered she had left her nutcracker downstairs and hurried down to look for it. Something magical had happened. The stairs led her down to a forest floor covered in pine needles. A tree stood where the walls of her home had been and a full moon shone in the sky. Clara looked round in astonishment. Suddenly a sweet voice chimed, commanded mice, return. Clara's nutcracker. Two mice came meagerly from behind to a tree, one of them holding the nutcracker toy. To Clara's amazement, the nutcracker smiled, then in one magical movement it began to grow until it was the same size as Clara. There before her stood a handsome nutcracker prince. Whatever has happened, gasped Clara, it's the sugar plum fairy's magic, smiled. The Nutcracker Prince. Clara looked up in wonder. It's true, laughed the beautiful sugar plum fairy, fluttering down from the top of the tree. Come with me and I will show you more. The air around them grew cold. And Clara found herself holding the Nutcracker's prince hand, flying over snowy lands of glittering ice and seas that sparkled moonlight. Before long, they saw a wonderful castle in the distance, but entirely of sweets and perched on an island of rainbow-coloured sherbets. The sugar plum fairy ushered them into, into an enormous sparkling hall. There, dancing to a teddy bear band, was Clara's friends and family, as well as the decorations from her Christmas tree and many of her favourite toys grown as large as life. May I have the pleasure of, of a dance? asked the Nutcracker Prince. Bowing deeply to Clara, certainly laughed Clara, and together they whirled around the glittering hall, happy and breathless. It's a big, it's a big page. Next came a magnificent feast. Clara and the Nutcracker Prince were seated on thrones and the Sugar Plum Fairy performed a special dance just for them. It was truly magical. Clara thought this was the most perfect evening ever. It was all soon time to go home. Tucked into a sleigh made of sweets and sugared icing, Clara and the Prince waved goodbye. The sleigh took into the air and Clara leaned drowsily on the shoulder of the Nutcracker Prince. I wish the magic would go on forever, she mumbled sleepily. It can for those who can see it, smiled the Nutcracker. The next morning, Clara woke up in her own room, cosy bed outside the church bells were ringing for Christmas morning and the smell of gingerbread cookies drifted up from the kitchen. She gazed She gazed the, at the little wooden nutcracker in her arms. Wait, could it really have been a dream? The end. Bravo, hooray. Cheers echoed around the hall as the audience claps and shouts for more. Everyone loved the play. Hello Kitty receives a beautiful boutique of flowers. I'm glad this isn't a dream, she thought. It's too much fun and she took another bow.